you talk about at one point on your website and the power of the statement, I am. That no matter what comes after that, that you can speak into truth. Can you talk a little bit about that and what it means to you? Oh, absolutely. I think that I am, those are two of the most powerful words in the universe. Because whatever follows those two words, be it negative or be it positive, will become your reality. And we oftentimes don't realize the power of our words to shape us because we throw them around so loosely. You know, I have people that say all the time, oh, I'm so tired. Oh, oh, that was smart. Oh, well, bright idea. You know, just the negative self-talk or my back is killing me or I can't win for losing or if it ain't one thing, it's another or, oh, you know, it comes in threes or all of these things that we say that subconsciously get in our psyche and keep us weak. It really just sucks our power away. So when you learn to affirm, I am like misaffirmation, just I'm, I'm always affirming because that's how I brought myself out of my deep and dark place. I had to affirm myself even when I did not believe it, that's the key. A lot of people think, oh, I'm lying to myself or oh, I'm playing make-believe or I'm playing pretend. No, you have to affirm yourself. See yourself where you desire to be first. Speak that you are there. And then just like we started, we were talking about the energy, you will become it. It becomes your reality. You, but you have to start that with the affirmation. And now, I like different affirmations that come in, but I intend that all of my affirmations start with I am because it's a personal thing. And if I take responsibility, you can't change me. My mom can't change me. My life circumstances and my situations can't change me. They can influence the change, but it is me who has to take you know, the handles and say, I am. This is what I am. This is who I embody. This is what I decide to do. This is what I desire to do. This is what I am going to do. And I use those two phrases and I have these little cards. Um, I promised myself, you know, where you hold accountability for yourself, that if nobody else does it, if, I'm, if nobody else does Anything that I choose to do, I'm going to do it because I promised myself. I'm going to get on my own bandwagon <laughs> and I'm going to ride that booger until I get to where I'm going. So I just think those two words are uber important and powerful. Whether you're, when you're feeling, you know, disappointed, when you're feeling, I have this, this big series on deserving. A lot of times we as women don't feel that we deserve the good. We feel guilty. I joke about um, the fact that I pull up to the, to the Chick-fil-A sometimes with my kids in tow. This was some time ago. I would pull up to the Chick-fil-A and they would be in the back seat and I would order myself a chicken sandwich and I wouldn't order them a chicken sandwich. <laughs> and some people say, oh my gosh, that's so horrible. My mom even said, oh my gosh, you're a horrible mother. No, I'm going to feed them. I am going to feed them. But I don't want everything that I do to be inclusive of an outside world. And yes, those are my children, my flesh and bone. But when I think of that self-preservation is the first law of nature, I have to think about myself first and take the best care of me or I will not be emotionally available for anybody else. <laughs>